All right, we got Avengers Sentinel says, FNF has emerged from YouTube demonetization stronger and more profitable than ever. Why is that? It's because Allah has been supporting FNF since day one. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. There you go. Yeah, you know what? It's kind of funny that um, people uh, are kind of like, oh, yeah, they got demonetized, blah, blah. Guys, from a financial standpoint, we're fine, man. Like, um, you know, that we got a strong audience, uh, uh, you know, hardcore supporters that you you know we rock with y'all you guys rock with us mm. so we're fine bro honestly people can talk shit and you know oh yeah these guys are monetized ha, 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 and laugh and shit like that but we've definitely persevered and gotten past it and we're doing just fine from a financial standpoint um you know we made smart moves beforehand um we kind of saw that this could potentially happen and you know we were prepared for it and a lot of that i got to give credit to fresh um and you know we kind of knew that's why we you know were with Rumble way before anything happened because mm. um, we knew that content like this would be suppressed on YouTube at some point. So shout out to Rumble. Um, you know, they're the fucking goats um, really standing in the way, uh, you know, of censorship and everything else like that because, you know, two, three years ago, if you got demonetized or if you got canceled or anything like that, it would literally be crippling. You'd be done. That was it. Um, but, you know, shout out to Elon Musk taking over X, uh, Chris from Rumble. <laughs> like, these guys are literally, like, the at the forefront of... Um, allowing creators to keep their their free speech because it's it's crazy, dude. Like, it's, unless you actually like are a creator and like you make content like this, you won't really understand how bad it is when it comes to censorship. It's literally wild, bro. The the amount of censorship. Yeah. So, um, and especially when you guys want raw content like this, a big part of the reason why we blew up is because we keep it real. You know. So, you know, it it comes with the territory. You comes know, you blow price. up, right? And you keep it real, and then you realize that most people can't keep it real, and they can't afford to collab with people that keep it real. And then you understand why. You know what I mean? So that's that's what happens a lot of times. Um, but uh, there was something else I was going to say. Uh, so yeah, you know, people prey on your downfall and shit like that, which a lot of YouTubers do. You know, there's been 30 plus videos made on us. No, 30 plus YouTubers that I've counted that have made videos talking shit about us that have been preying on our downfall. A lot of them pocket watch us um, and say a bunch of stupid shit like, oh, they made this much money. They probably lost this much, blah, blah, blah. Trust me, <laughs> we're doing just fine, man. Just oh, fine, man. okay? Uh, so people can say what they want to say. They really want to see us like be taken out and lose because a lot, it comes down to jealousy, man. We've only been on YouTube for three years, and we've yeah. surpassed, if not doing just as good as like other people that have way bigger platforms, been on longer, have stronger connections, <coughs> flagrant, um, and uh, <laughs> you know we're still here. Because yeah. at the end of the yeah. day, you can't, like you can hate us as much as you want, but one thing you can't refute is the amount of value that we give and the um, the level of content that we provide and the diversification, bro. Like the diversification is crazy about what we talk about here. One day we could talk about making money on stocks. Another day we could talk about real estate. Another day we could be talking about pop culture situations like this with Vin Diesel, Me Too. Yeah. We could talk about how to be attractive and get a girl off a sugar site. Credit like, score, credit, credit cards. score. Like it's like yeah. the, the the diversification is crazy. So this is why people like really resent and hate us uh, because we give that kind of. Uh, content and then for them they look at it like you know most youtubers a lot of days nowadays are fucking reaction channels so what do they do they don't proactively make content they make reactionary content so they need people to react to and who are they going to react to oh these new guys are blown up let me fucking make a video on them so pretty much but they're our unpaid marketing team because unbeknownst to a lot of these haters they've actually brought even more people over to our stuff because people was like who are these guys man and they come and they watch like wow they're providing value this is actually good stuff and then bam they stay and, and they then stay. they stop watching those fucking clowns that made the hit pieces talking about us because then they kind of wake, you know, smell the coffee and open their eyes and realize, damn, these guys aren't really teaching me anything to benefit my life. I'm just watching them, but I'm still broke. I'm still fat. My girls still don't respect me. They don't teach me about anything on how to improve. They're just giving me mindless entertainment. Let me stop watching these niggas. And they stop. And they listen to us and they go out and get another job. They make more money. They become successful. So many success stories that you guys hear on here. Um, so, hey, it is what it is. We may impact. Period. Yeah. Uh, period and you guys do the work too that's the big that's the best thing is that you guys actually you guys get the message and a lot of you guys go out there and actually do the work so yep. pat yourselves on the back man because a lot of people are fucking lazy and y'all are definitely making moves uh what else do you got here 